So I'm Apala Majumdar, and I am a professor of applied mathematics at the University of Strathclyde in Glasgow in Scotland. It's a wonderful uh, institution. I strongly encourage everyone to visit. I am also the Associate Dean for International Research for the Faculty of Science at Strathclyde, and my main expertise is the mathematics of material science, primarily soft matter and liquid crystals, which is why I believe I've been invited to participate in this program. So I am the Kirk Fellow for the program on uncertainty quantification and stochastic modeling of materials. So I'm particularly thankful to the organizers for putting together this really rich interdisciplinary two-month program. So I've, there are three organizers and I've known two of them, Angela Mihai and Alan Gorielli for a few years. In fact, I've also collaborated with Alan Gorielli on two papers and Angela Mihai I know because of her extensive work on stochastic modeling of materials. Now in particular, how my research fits in with this. So my main area of research is uh, mathematics of liquid crystals, modeling of liquid crystals. And liquid crystals are really classical, perhaps one of the prime examples of soft materials, which are actually one of the focus areas of this particular program. So that's where I think I fit in. Now this particular program is quite distinctive because common mathematical models in the community for materials and including soft matter, they really rely on deterministic approaches. Now deterministic mathematical models have been very powerful, very successful, but they do not account for material imperfections or uncertainties in the experimental framework or even uncertainties in the material properties or material heterogeneity, right? But of course, any real system will have all of these ingredients. And what this program aspires to do, which is commendable, is to create a new community in the UK at the interface of fundamental and applied continuum mechanics and also stochastics and probability and of course scientific computation. And these communities, they could really do with more interaction. And of course, if this is successful, then what we will have is a new class of mathematical models which can both incorporate and quantify uncertainties in real systems, which is a huge forward step. And that's and also that's partly where I also fit in because most of my expertise to date or most of my work to date has really been on deterministic or fundamental continuum mechanics, which again is one of the focus areas of this program. But I have recently started to work on stochastic approaches to materials modeling as well. And therefore I believe that I can learn a lot from what's going on, but equally contribute a lot from the wealth of knowledge that I already have for soft materials and hopefully be a good bridge between the two communities, or at least one of the bridges. So the title of my lecture, um, as I recall, is Pneumatic Liquid Crystals, Where Physics and Mathematics Meet Applications. So it's a fairly self-explanatory title. It focuses on pneumatic liquid crystals, which are classical examples of soft materials. They're basically complex fluids, which, are, which have special directions. And these directionally ordered complex fluids have a massive response function to any kind of external stimuli. And this response is really at the heart of all pneumatic applications in the multi-billion dollar liquid crystal display industry, in photonics, in sensors, in biology, and even artificial intelligence. So what I really hope to do is really tell people what pneumatic liquid crystals are, uh, give an overview of the basic mathematical theories, some examples of how mathematics can be used for real liquid crystal systems, because I think that's very important to get people excited, and also conclude with an overview of emerging areas in the field, one of which, of course, is stochastic modeling. And of course, I will in, um, acknowledge all my collaborators because none of this would have been possible without the collaborations and all the generous funding that I have received from the Leverhulme Trust, the Royal Society, my institution, Strathclyde, and also more recently, the Humboldt Foundation. So I really look forward to meeting all of you, hopefully at the lecture.